Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K. How are you doing, my Omi homies? So, what we're going to be going through today is what exactly is happening with Omi's price and just a few updates from VV. And I just want to explain from a software engineering perspective exactly what's happening with the marketplace. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I am running a free gems giveaway. All you need to do to enter is I've got a video here, and all you need to do is go to this video i've included the link in the description and like subscribe and leave a comment with which character or series you want to see featured in the next set of any nfts so that's all you need to do like subscribe and leave your comment below and i'll use a random comment picker this weekend to announce the winner vv what they've done today this was tweeted three hours ago is they do have an update on the marketplace so this week, we added another 1,000 users to the marketplace. Thank you all. We're going to be rolling out to another 5,000 soon. Now, I believe this 5,000 soon is going to happen very, very soon, possibly even this week or maybe early next week. And what I want to show is when we roll out new features in software, we normally aim to roll out a new feature to at least 5% of the users first. And we have close to around about 200, I believe 200,000 users of the VV app. So 5% of that would be around about 10,000 users. Now we've already rolled out to around about, I believe 7,000, 8,000 users. So we're coming very close to that figure. Now it doesn't have to be exactly 5%, but around about there before you feel confident enough to roll out a big feature to the mass public. And that's exactly what's happening. So I believe we're definitely going to be getting the marketplace rolled out this month because this week, VV's decided to take a step back. They're not going to be doing any drops because of the added requirement in terms of their developers who have to then focus on that and any bugs associated with that, as well as, you know, the manpower required releasing a drop. They're just going to focus on building up the platform, making it much, much better for the long term and getting some of these features like the marketplace rolled out. So what is happening with Omi's price? Now, Omi has come down to my support level line over here. So this is the time where you want to be buying. This is where you want to buy. You don't want to be buying up here, um, although in the long term, it doesn't really matter where you buy. But for the short term, this is where you want to accumulate because the number of people holding OMI is still barely 100,000 addresses. There are actually more users on the VV app. So with such a small market cap, not as many users, you can expect these volatile price movements. And you want to catch those movements right at the bottom here. Now, I believe what's going to happen is the price did actually rebound. It's come back up to here, this second support line, and that's what happens. You guys need to be fast, but don't worry, because we still got all of this to make up. And this all time I up here of about 1.3 cents. And I believe that is coming this month with the big announcement. And we've also been being teased a Binance listing, which essentially would be like I said, I would need to revise my estimates, but that would definitely push us well over the all time high. I believe we'll find support around about the two cents mark. So if you were to buy down here at this low, then that's an easy free um, X right there for you. So where do I see my valuation of OMI in the long term? Now, I have to go through a couple of things just to explain that. But in the short to midterm, I believe this is definitely going to go at least 15 X. And how did I come to that? Well, I've got here a website called nonfungible.com and there are a couple of trends that I just want to go through with you guys. So if we go to a market overview of the top performing NFT projects on here now, no surprise, crypto punks is at the top. And if we just sort this by all time volume, so we've got crypto punk, super rare, and then a few others. And their all time volume in the top five is around about 50 million now. Just to put that into perspective, in just one single drop, Ecomi did 5 million. That's already one tenth of their all time volume of these top five projects. Oh, well, just to get into the top five. That was one drop. They're going to be doing a drop every week at least. They're going to be doing multiple drops. They're also going to be releasing other ways to get NFTs and other ways to participate in the platform. So I've spoken about the Master Collector program as well. Definitely have a look at that if you have not. So, if you look at trends, well, we know that 
the number of sales did hit a low about about a week ago um and slowly sales have been picking up but you know maybe nfts are cheaper so you know maybe that's why sales picked up but nope if you look here the us dollar volume has been going up exponentially so we were at all time here when everyone is speculating you know people didn't quite know what they were doing they were just buying 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 and the speculators a lot of them did sell off and now that ecomi has entered the space we're seeing consistent drops and consistent increases in revenue so if we have a look specifically at the collectible zone it does look similar it's a very similar trend so collectibles in terms of sales is still kind of down here but the us dollar volume has gone up massively so we're seeing much more sales being introduced to this ecosystem in terms of dollars and i believe ecomi is definitely the market leader in this they're going to be the market leader and that kind of goes on to where my prediction comes from so in the collectible market now this was an article a few years ago forbes had discussed that the 200 billion dollar collectible market is going to be unlocked in the blockchain i kind of dismissed it at the time i was kind of focused more on um you know cryptos so omi i believe is going to definitely benefit from this because a 200 billion dollar market we've seen ourselves that this article from a few years ago it did end up turning out to be true we are seeing a greater increase in market valuation the nft market right now is only valued at around about 250 million but that's increasing rapidly and i see omi being a market leader in that so if we do get to this 200 billion dollar collectible market valuation on the blockchain and omi can capture just 10 percent of that market that would give it a market valuation around about 20 billion which is at least a 15x from where it is right now and i believe we're going to be hitting this very very soon now that's just nfts obviously omi's valuation isn't just derived from how much they make in nfts it's a lot more than that so obviously this number is kind of a not a short-term number but if you combine it with the burn rate with the overall shift in the crypto market as well upwards as well as omi being a market leader in this nft space then my valuation falls in line with the valuation of other people who have other models and that valuation between 15 to 20 cents within early next year is pretty consistent from what i've seen so i believe omi right now is at a very very good point to buy i have bought more here and i would advise others if you are looking to get into omi definitely buy at the lows you know buy low sell high i don't need to tell you that but from what i can see and what you can obviously see is omi is currently at a low so you know don't take this as financial advice but if i did want to buy omi now is around a time where i would look to buy some and i always advise dollar cost averaging so don't go all in at this one price here you know you never know it could come down lower but very very unlikely because it rebounded straight away off this bottom support line and i believe the market is going to be shifting very very positively because we've got the big april announcement we've got crypto moving up as a whole we've got nfts moving up as a whole as you can see that there was that exponential recovery so good things are in the future for omi so that's all i want to go through with you guys thank you so much for watching please do like and subscribe to support the content and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya